Hey everybody, and welcome to maybe my shortest Dorico video yet. Dorico just came out with a brand new version, and it's a really basically just a bug fix thing, but they did add one really cool feature that I want to show you. Now we're at Dorico 6.0.1. So again, it's a very small bug fix. They say they fixed 50 little problems that were behind the scenes, things that were causing it to be unstable. But then they added a really short list of things that they thought would be improvements for us. Some of the things that they added, they said that you can quickly change the display units by double-clicking on the ruler in the Engrave tab. Now, when you go into the Playback options under the Library menu, the Dynamics tab will actually show a dynamic graph of what's happening when you adjust the ratios. They also changed how the bars in chord diagrams are drawn so they look a little bit better. They changed a couple of engraving options having to do with alternate fingerings and the spacing on arpeggio markings. They also added the option where we can start a flow with a double bar. Now, these first ones are probably ones that you may never get around to changing. I mean, they're, they're pretty high-level stuff, and unless you're doing chord diagrams or some of those others, you may not touch it. But the one I really want to show you today, the one that is so darn important, is the last thing they changed, which is if you hold down the Shift key and double-click on a note, you can highlight every single one of that pitch in your document in that part. So what does this mean? So if we come over here to this version of intermission riff I was working on, you'll see that there is a note that I, frankly speaking, would like never to be in my document, which is an E double flat. Obviously, a D natural would be so much easier to read in this situation. But Dorico makes it kind of complicated to fix some of these enharmonic spelling errors. But now, if I click on that note, hold down shift and double click, you can see it grabbed all of the rest of them, which means I could then hit option and the minus, which would allow me to respell the note from the bottom, aka make the double flat into a D natural. So if you entered your music using your MIDI keyboard and it left behind some really ugly accidentals, now you could go through the document, find one instant, double click on it, and all of a sudden you can fix it. And what a huge improvement this is. Because let me tell you, this is something that really does slow me down from time to time when working in Dorico documents. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other videos on notation options and other things. Um, and check back at the channel. I've been adding new stuff all the time. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're looking for or you need any help with any of these things. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.